you go. Um, so, as, as the introduction said, my um, presentation has got a proposal for an exhibition called The Cloak of Deception, which is about um, uh, colour in art and also uh, the idea of colour as deception. So it follows from this exhibition, which I curated in 2015 at um, First Draft, that had the work of Rebecca Bauman, Rico Rennie and um, Rossman. So it's sort of a, I'm thinking of a con continued conversation about colour. I deal with colour in my own work and I'm interested in colour um, and the way that some of these artists deal with colour. I'm sort of thinking about it in relation to a conversation between artists and, um, and I wanted to set up uh, something like a colour collective to maybe consider colour between artists and curators and, um, uh, and writers as well. So I was thinking about the idea of colour in relation to art um, and challenging the idea that colour is something to be wary of, that something, um, you know, there's, there's an idea that colour is um, uh, something that is um, misleading in some ways, that it's related to surface, that it's related to uh, aesthetics and so something that maybe can trick you. And there's also an idea that people like um, David Batchelor um, talk about, which is to do with colour in relation to, um, so high coloration means uh, a drop in, um, um, in, in, I guess, ideas and so on. That basically to, to be colourful means that um, you lose criticality. So it's sort of challenging those types of things. And I'm thinking about colour in relation to the way that we perceive it. So, uh, Newton uh, dealt with colour as, um, uh, as a physical problem and Goethe dealt with problem uh, with colour as an idea that was not just about uh, light and an object but it was also about perception, it's about the way that we understand colour. So the question of colour comes up as maybe uh, this idea of the problem of colour comes up also in relation to the limitations of our eyes. So this is the mantis shrimp. And the mantis shrimp sees um, six to twelve times more colour than we can. Um, the idea of uh, colour as something that uh, creates confusion in the eye is used in dazzle ships. This is a more contemporary version of a dazzle ship pattern. Um, it wasn't to do dazzle ships were used in World War One, and they weren't used to um, to make something disappear, but to create a sense of confusion about where something was. So the works for this exhibition that I'm proposing are from Hussein Sami. Um, they are Rebecca Bauman again. So this continued conversation with people I've worked with before. They're Rachel Mipanchidi Lionel, da Rye David Bradley, Maggie Green, and John Mead. And so the idea would be that it's uh, sort of unpacking this idea of, of, um, of this uh, concealment. So in Hussein's recent work, there is um, this actual reveal, a physical reveal. So there's a performance where he cuts through the canvas and there's a skin that then reveals another side. Um, he's also been doing these skins that are almost like cloaks in the first of his, uh, of his slides. They're like um, cloths or things that, that hide and uh, conceal something. Um, uh, in, uh, in the work of some of the artists, so Rebecca Bauman, there's this sense of change in the work. So something flips over to one side and then changes again into something else. Uh, they're very uh, common materials that she deals with. Um, they're things that are, um, you know, this is uh, a signage basically that changes colour so you flip from one to the other. Um, this is an exhibition that she had on at the MCA. And so thinking through this idea of, um, of how we might, um, if, if colour is something to be controlled, if colour is something to be wary of, um, what can it say? What can we use to uh, colour to say beyond, you know, an exploration in art? I'm thinking through, um, as the introduction said, I work in the, um, in the architecture department and in architecture students are asked to use maybe one or two colour maximum because uh, a great deal of colour confuses the idea of the architect. Um, and so it's interesting to think about colour as something that needs to be uh, as I say, it needs to be controlled. Uh, this is Rachel Mipanchidi Lionel, and she deals with um, uh, water dreaming. It's one of the stories, and her paintings come from um, 
dreams that she that she has, and so she paints these dreams. Um, Ryder Bill Bradley uh, uses this work, uses this uh, technique, which is um, a synthetic suede, so this material that kind of shifts and changes. But also the work is very photographic. It's almost like you can make something out in it, but it's not super clear what it is. Um, it's like a, something that is out of focus. This is Maggie Green um, from Port Hedland, and one of the things that she has in her work is um, this, uh, this colour that is a really complex underpainting, so colours that sort of reveal through, you might look at a brown, but actually you've got these uh, deep layers of underpainting that come through. So again, this idea of deception that things are not necessarily what they seem on the surface, but there's something more to look beyond, something to look underneath and to question what is actually there. Um, and so thinking, her work also deals with um, deals with stories of the countries, deals with stories of um, uh, the movement that she has undertaken in her life from, um, from area to area and working in different places. And this is John Mead, and um, in looking at John Mead in this idea of making through his work something like a disguise, or something that dresses up as something else and that again prioritises colour. Um, so um, this is the concluding slide. So hopefully this is an exhibition that has this continued um, conversation between artists, between different people, as something that is an exhibition, but it's also a greater conversation, a, a, um, um, as I say, maybe a colour collective might come out of it.